and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today is Wine Review Wednesday, and of course, it's a cheap wine. And I have got a rosé that I am so excited to try with you guys. Um, this is the Le Grand Noir Rosé, um, and it is from France, and its vintage is 2017. So we will be covering uh, four things very briefly, very quickly. It will not take forever. Pricing, most importantly, or I mean, that's debatable, but pricing, ABV, packaging, taste. I don't know why my thumb was up there, I'm sorry. Um, so let's get right into it. So the packaging for me is super good. It's like really millennial conscious, which makes sense because we're the ones who are buying this. Um, it is pink, it's got the black sheep right here, which I didn't know was a black sheep until I read the back, so like, let's go into like how they market themselves. So on the back, it says Le Grand Noir uh, Rosé. It is 85% Grenache and 15% Syrah, whatever, and it says being unique. In a world where many things increasingly look the same, we're delighted to offer a wine that doesn't sheepishly follow the herd. Deliciously mouth-watering, this dry, crisp rosé offers juicy strawberry and blackberry fruit, layered with balanced acidity and a clean finish, the perfect companion to an afternoon with friends. Also pairs well with summer salads, grilled chicken, and fish. So most like white or pink wines do good with like the the whiter meats. So yum. Okay, let's see. Um, a scale from one to ten, I would give the packaging like a very very high eight. I think it's adorable. I think it's the simplicity works. I like the back of it, what it says. It really sells it. I mean, it's not a part of the pack. It's unique, and we all want to be unique in this generation, right? Like, we want to stand out, and this wine does right now. Okay, so we just did packaging. Let's do the other P, price. It is a whopping $10 at your local Wally World. So we are staying on trend with our cheap wine, $10. For five glasses, yes, this bottle holds five glasses. That's a standard wine bottle. Um, you know, we can get the bigger ones. I feel ya. Or the boxes. I feel ya again. But these standard bottles hold five glasses of wine. And now moving on to the ABV, it is 12.5%. So $10, 12.5% alcohol. You're going to get pretty tipsy if you drink it by yourself. And you're not going to freaking break the bank. Like, we all know that we've been down to like what, I don't really want to say, but like $3 in your account, or maybe 13 and you're like, okay, I get paid tomorrow, so it's Wine Wednesday, let me go to the store and get myself this $10 rosé, and celebrate getting paid tomorrow before tomorrow, and still have $3 left in my account. Awesome. Not suggesting that you guys do that, not saying that I do it, but you know. So we've gotten packaging, price, ABV, so now we're going to talk taste. So lovely screw top. Side note, um, I did actually hear from somebody who is a seller for alcohol to like restaurants and bars and that kind of thing. They told me that they're kind of getting rid of the corkscrews, the traditional corkscrews because they're unsanitary. Apparently they promote germs. Maybe they were just telling me this. I don't know if this is fact, but I love a twist top. I don't want to have to bring, like, bring a wine key everywhere I go. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And now we're going to taste it. Oh, it's, it's really, really good. It's dry. So if you are into sweeter wines like your Moscato or your White Zinfandel or those kind of things, 
it's not gonna be your goji, but I do feel like it's like a good in between because there's still some sweet notes. I do taste the strawberry, I, I taste the fruit, and it's super light. But still, if you like dry wine, this in a dry rose. I mean, I, I feel like most of the roses that I've ever had are kind of dry, but I don't know. Maybe that's me choosing them. Um, if you guys would like to see me try different kinds of wines, leave it in the comments below and I will go purchase it. Please try to make it under $10. That's kind of the theme. $10 or under, we're trying to be as cheap as possible. You know. So I'm gonna continue to um, sip this wine and then I'm gonna spill some tea. So it's basically a little bit of a story time. I was thinking about embarrassing things I could talk about while I got tipsy and I remember a horrific Valentine's Day. So I am from the state of New York, not New York City, and it snows a lot. Um, <laughs> And this Valentine's Day, we got hit with a snowstorm. And, oh gosh, I'm a little bit embarrassed to even go into this story. So, um, basically I was at the um, fuckboy's house that I wanted to like be with. Like, oh, I liked this guy so much. But it was his parents' house, and we got snowed in, and that's fine, whatever, no big D, right? Wrong. So very wrong. So the night started off great, um, we played like board games with his parents, um, went to bed, everything was fine, woke up, and we were still snowed in, and I got my period. And y'all, when I say I got my period, like, I got my period. And I was, like, still learning the ways of being a woman, and I did not know I was going to get my period. I just was frolicking free in the world, and I just was like, no, I don't need supplies. I'm not going to be snowed into this house. Well, guess what? It was bad. Oh. I didn't even realize because I was half asleep, like I walked to the bathroom because I like knew something was up, like you know that feeling. I was just like, something is a bit too moist, something is up. So I go to the bathroom, which is like the family bathroom, and I'm like, holy, holy fuck. Oh, what am I going to do? So, uh you know, the toilet paper, wrapping it around. I did that, but apparently, somehow, in the midst of doing that, I tripped on a rug in the bathroom that I did not know about, and he had to clean it up. And to this day, I don't know if his family saw it, but I'm pretty sure they did, and it was mortifying. And listen, when I get my period the first day, cramps are insane. I was basically bedridden when his entire family is just like cooking bacon, going about their, like, where's, where's Nia? What's she doing? And I'm just sitting here like, God, like, please, please have the sun come out. Melt the freaking snow. I need to get out of here right now but no it wasn't in my favor the, the what is it the cards were not in my favor uh, that day night friends so basically I was there all day I had to like I don't know he found me like a dark towel to wear as a very uncomfortable very bulky diaper and I just was pure, like, purely mortified. And he did not become my boyfriend. So I, <laughs> I don't know if any of that had anything to do with that. But I would not blame the kid. So yeah, it was embarrassing. 